fucks. Yeah! All right, yeah. all right, calm down. Give this man some space. What's wrong, Doc? To me, what's wrong? Don't forget, this is the same little kid mm -hmm. from way back who used to sit in my chair and take naps. Yeah, but Doc, now these are NBA naps. You uh, feel me? I, I hear you. Right? I hear you. <laughs> hey, I appreciate you guys so much, man. This feels like the first time I can actually celebrate, not care who's watching, just do me. You know? It is. Isn't this crazy, Doc? And hold on to this moment. I got but remember, stay humble. Of course. Don't let it go to your head. Because if it do, I'll take these clippers and ah, I'll remind you, you where you came stuff. from. Yeah, and try <laughs> these on. What the new JBLs? Come on, fellas. Yep, man. man, Jules pitched in and got you one side each. Yeah, I'm on the left. There's an inscription on it, too. Look. Oh, block out the noise. Remember where you came from and where you're headed. Whenever you need to get in the zone, put these headphones on. Abraham Lincoln, look at that. That's crazy. That's man. from us, man. And if anything ever gets too loud, I want you to put these on, block out all the noise, and just think about the barbershop. And where you from? I will, Doc. Yeah, maybe hook your boys up with some tickets. Oh, yeah, you know I got you guys on the tickets. Yeah, no that's problem. That's a great idea. No problem. We want to sit on the court next to all the cameramen. So when the NBA player miss a layup, he can land on us and crush one of those weird bones that we never heard of. What do you want today? I think I'm just going to stick with the do I got. Because you can't preview them. Ah, I'm good today, guys. Thanks. Right, be easy, DJ. Huh. See you later, young sport. Young sport? Let's play the first game. It's the 2K Sports pregame show. This is the NBA on 2K Sports. Ernie Johnson, happy to be here with my partners, Kenny the Jet Smith and Shaquille O'Neal. The fans are filling the seats out in Boston, the site of our broadcast, and where the Celtics will be going up against the Milwaukee Bucks. Well, for Milwaukee, their first time playing these guys this season. A year ago, going one and two. They'd like to improve on that this go-around. Kenny, I'll tell you what. What? We've already seen some big matchups to start this season. Mm -hmm. It's very early. Yes. But in the real world, how soon do you start thinking about playoff ramifications? Oh, you start thinking about playoffs from day one. You, oh, the end come goal on. is always some. But that, you're not thinking about where you are. Hey, right in right now, mind. we'd play these guys. Yes, you know. always. I, and I look at them in five game blocks. I would be like, hey, man, in these five games, we need to be here for the playoffs. After these five, mm. we need to be here. Because that's, if you don't, it could get out of control. And I don't Kenny look cross I can tell just from his reaction of shaking his head that he's not buying what you're selling. Don't listen to that jibber jabber. Ernie, you focus on one game at a time. The rest will just take care of itself. One game so you at a go time. less than I do. One game at a time. I went take five care game itself. blocks. You went and then if you need to make an adjustment, you don't wait. You just when make did you think about playoffs, though? When playoff time came around. So not like early on in the season you weren't th oh, thinking playoffs man. like Kenny was. Can't control the future. Only I, I can. <laughs> it didn't work that time. Nothing showed up in your hand. <laughs> Nothing. It doesn't always work that way. What do you think this is, some video game? <laughs> Kevin Harlan, take it away. Two K Sports welcomes you to the following presentation of the NBA. It reminds me of that. Uh, I think it's called NBC uh, broadcast. Here we go, Rook. First game, boy. I remember my first game. I ain't gonna lie, man. I was a little man. Hey, Rook. Brooke, what's up, man? You here, man? How geeked up are you? Nah, I'm just, I'm going over the give and go, man. I just want to make sure that when I'm in the back, I'm in the back. All right, all right, all right, all right. Okay, move, okay, okay, get... okay. That's enough. That's enough, man. You my what, rook, man? right? Yeah, yeah, I'm your rook. We established you my rookie, right? I mean, you established it, but yeah, I know what you're trying all to right, say. So listen up, man, because look, I'm gonna be honest with you, all right? What? Number one, yeah. you're not even really gonna play. Man, get out of nah, here. Nah, man, that. for real. And on top of that, you are an unheralded rookie. You wasn't even drafted. So what? I'm hungry, all right? I've been working on my shot. I plugged in all my plays on the okay? What? what? Yeah, I plugged in all... Look, the point is, I've been putting my shots up. And let me tell you something. It is wetter than the Pacific Ocean on a rainy day, man. All right? <laughs> look, dog, so look, look. Wanted... All right, all right, look. I love the enthusiasm, all right? Okay. I'm sure the coaching staff will even love it. You might as well sit back, 
relax, you no know, study the plays, maybe uh, pose your imaginary action figures or whatever you need to do. But I'm gonna tell you, man, these dudes, us vets, we got this. Look, I am ready, all right? And I'm gonna prove it to you. Yeah, yeah, man, maybe so. Closet. Yeah, we don't got nothing so far. We're gonna head to the court. All good releases. There we go. Finally got one to drop. Look at all these good releases, and none of them are dropping. There's a good release. It's cool and everything, but we're going to skip it. Welcome, everyone. Thanks for tuning in to 2K Sports for this NBA presentation. I'm Kevin Harlan, joined by Chris Weber and Greg Anthony. David Aldridge is our sideline reporter. We've got the Milwaukee Bucks taking on the Boston Celtics. The injury to Kyrie Irving. This is the really big news here. What? Yeah, and as bad as it turned out to be, it, it tells you a little bit about his toughness, that, that when they took him to the locker room after he got hurt, he wanted to come back out and get back on the court. Well, yeah, you think about it, this is good news. Good news, especially to everyone who saw that terrible injury occur. It could have been so much worse. And before we get going, let's catch up with our Hall of Famer, David Aldridge, who had a chance to speak with head coach Brad Stevens. David, what do you have to say? Well, guys, he has an admiration for what he called the intelligent, efficient offense played by today's opponent. He told me that the thing about this team is that they are so good at identifying the weak spots in an opponent and they come at you in multiple ways depending on where those weak spots are. He said, we've got to be ready for everything. It's pretty tall order, <laughs> guys. Thank you, David. And both these teams can go deep into their benches. Chris, what's it like to play on a stacked team? A team that has uh, a huge number of players that can start in a lot of teams in the league, but may have to come off the bench. It just relieves a lot of the pressure. As starters, you want to try to get a lead or play well, and you hope the bench comes in. Oh, I forgot to change the settings. At least I'm in. And just under two and a half minutes elapsed here in the first. Here's Davidson. Oh. It's going to be two free throws. Drew contact on the shot. Uh, we are seeing the debut of DJ as he gets his first NBA minutes. How great is this? Didn't take your typical road to the NBA, but there is a lot to be excited about from this kid. Yeah, an unconventional path, to say the least, for DJ to get to this moment, as you mentioned. But he's earned his spot on this team, and I know fans are excited to see what he can bring to the table. When DJ isn't grooving off the court to his tunes, he's locked in on the floor. A special player with a fantastic skills. Yeah, good awareness there. He sees an opening and doesn't hesitate. Well, that opening right there, that's just because the defense failed to rotate. The pass to Anda Dekumbo. Maker with a screen for Anda Dekumbo. Pass to Maker. Five on the clock. And a great assist by Anda Dekumbo as that one goes in. And the story here, Kevin, early on, is how well they shot the basketball. Pick by Horford. Rozier kicks to Hayward. Now oh, here is Horford. Defense is right there. Out of bounds. Milwaukee takes possession. And a moment here to check out the stats for Hayward. Coming off a terrific season. 
He averaged 22 points per game last season. Five rebounds and three assists. What incredible numbers. He year. has been a beast. Yeah, impossible to check right now. When he's on a roll like this, there's not much you can do to stop him. Here's Wells. And he can't extend the lead to double digits. There's 53 seconds left to play here in the first. Yes, yes. What? 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 How are you going to miss that, dude? He is good with the well, everyone knows that Horford relishes any chance he gets down low. There's the pick. Off the pick. Not enough on that one as it misses. And you know what? You can't get a better screen. Frees him up beautifully, but he just fails to capitalize. <laughs> the best laid plans, right? Well, I tell you right there, though, that's one they'll take every single time. A shot by Hayward, wide open, and the Celtics hit again from deep. Hey, look, he's not an easy man to defend. He'll get his points one way or another. And a high-scoring first quarter. Both teams really filling it up. Am I going to get to play well, in the second Before the game, half? we had a moment to sit down with DJ, and we asked him about playing in his first NBA game. It's, uh, it's pretty amazing to consider where I'm at right now. I mean, when I decided to uh, pursue basketball full time and and uh, to play in the, in the proving ground, I didn't know I would make it this far. You know, at least not this soon. Like I knew I had talent. I knew I could work hard. What are you looking at? And I just I did everything I could to be successful on the court. But I really can't wait to showcase my skills on the ultimate stage. I mean, against the best players in the world. Kevin, Celtics coach Brad Stevens is known for getting the best out of his players. He said every NBA player has an elite strength. Some of them have 10 of them. And those guys are the very best in the league, right? But every one of them is here for a reason. And there are times where you can really soar with that skill. Kevin? And that's why Stevens is already one of the best coaches in the league, David. You've talked about him for a long time, getting maximum results. Oh, I hit that. Of his players. Oh, you love how effective I DJ thought that was going to be a uh, way outside a special shooter with amazing range. I thought that was going to be a shot clock violation. Making a splash, man. When Morris gets free from mid range, he's very effective. Love seeing him getting it going from there. And you look at the Bucks in this roster, and the one constant at every position, length. I mean, great height and wingspan. Giannis and Maker, just to name a few. Well, I'm sure he thought that was good when they left his fingertips. As a matter of fact, I know he did. Offensive rebound. And sticking right with it, gets the foul with the bucket, and he'll go to the line. Damn it. And we're through the first half of basketball here and what's been a good one. Celtics lead by two. Changes for Boston. Aaron Baines, he's checked in for Horford. Morris comes in for Smart. And it's Brown in for Terry Rozier. And guys, what we saw here tonight is one side having everything going for them. Huge margin of victory for the Bucks. Not only did they shoot the ball better, but with Hayward. Then it's Marcus Morris. That's the Boston Five. Two yeah. No time yeah, at all on that one. Truck in the game clock. Hayward can hit. Here's Davidson. A strong finish under heavy pressure all over. And how much longer are they going to keep that foot on the accelerator? At this point, it's just icing on the cake. Terrific run. Closes it out. So no problem that was a lot of lag. As they get the win. This one was over well before the final buzzer. <laughs> too soon. Damn. What do you mean too soon? Too soon, man. It's not your time yet. You're starting to embarrass me. What are you talking about? You need to stop.
Great news, got some endorsement. Cool, where they at? Well, there's something for 150 and a gig for Main Street News that pays 10 for about the same amount of work. Which one do you want? Want more money, of course. Awesome. Need that beast. That face, though. That's all the same. LeVar Ball. I had to Google this kid, DJ. Not an NBA player, not a big ball. What? I'm going to school your son, man. Are you here for me? We are. Let's go. Okay. I mean, I know I had a decent game, but uh, man, hold. Does she ever slow down? Nope. Well, I thought we were gonna be in the in we the press conference. We got a solo conference. hit on you. Special request. Fresh meat? No way. Was Shaq and Kenny? NBA TV? Moochie the Mad Cow. W P O N. Sports Radio. Fifty six. Moochie the, the Bond. What? You're doing a remote interview. Put these on. Uh, hello. How you doing, DJ? Nice game. Thanks for taking a couple of minutes. No problem, Moochie. Great. Let's get started. Sports Radio 56 with Moochie. All right, all right, Moochie the Mad Cow here with new rookie, DJ. DJ just put in work in his first ever NBA game. DJ, you played great tonight. How did it feel out there? It felt incredible, man. I mean, and honestly, it's all credit to my teammates. I mean, they just, they believed in me. They kept feeding me the ball. They saw that I felt great. And coach, coach just, he let me take shots that, you know, maybe he shouldn't have, but it all worked out tonight. Love the attitude. A real team player. You kind of came out of nowhere to make the league. How are you adjusting to the speed of the game? It's been pretty easy. I mean, the coaches on this team are incredible, man. They just do the best job that they can to keep us prepped. Uh, you know, the vets on this team are great. And, you know, whenever I have a question about, like, plays or, or coverage or, you know, anything, really, I mean, they're, they're always there to help me. And they, you know, they just keep reminding me to just keep going hard in the gym and, and, and keep watching tape and going over the, you know, plays and, and everything will fall into place like it did tonight. Spoken like a true veteran. That's all the time we have for today. I'd like to thank DJ for taking a few minutes to talk to us after his NBA debut. Thanks again, DJ. No problem, man. Wow, that's it? That's it. Thanks, DJ. Yeah, that felt good. It was great. Yeah. Maybe he should give Shammy a few pointers. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. Throwing shade on Shammy. <laughs>